Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. Uh, here we want to talk about uh, simulation of three dimensional perovskite solar cell. In two uh, last videos, we talk about one dimensional and two dimensional perovskite solar cell simulation with ComSol Multiphysics. And now we want to expand this model to three dimensional model. Please subscribe my channel and use the bell below the screen and aware of latest video in my channel thank you okay uh, if you see the videos about the simulation of two-dimensional perovskite solar cell I provide all of details in the uh, related videos in my channel <coughs> you can see this model with semiconductor physics by related domains and boundaries and equation okay uh, for modifying the 1d to 2d I talk about uh, this modification and now we use the same method and we use component add a component we use three dimensional or 3d as a symbol at the top of the software okay here I use the same thickness as I inserted in the geometry okay in interval in it, it, it's for one dimensional and you can see this for two-dimensional with the rectangle jump here we can use a block with the width steps and height uh, by the related uh, thicknesses okay uh, uh, I must uh, choose a nanometer as a lens unit to have a simple option for drawing okay by default you can see 111 nanometer in uh, all of direction uh, I want to draw a solar cell in the Z direction I use total thickness uh, the total thickness is the 0 plus thickness ETL thickness PVK and thickness HTL okay I use control plus C and I use control V in height and build all object okay as you can see you see a line in three dimensional it, it's because of the depths and widths it's very thin for this high okay I can use arbitrary uh, thickness for example with 100 nanometer and depths 100 nanometer okay I use build all object and you can see the final geometry okay uh, here I can use a layers or I can uh, duplicate this block with different thickness but it's very simple to use layers I use layers for as I mentioned it, it before uh, when you have used n a number of thickness you can you must uh, insert n minus one layer okay the n ends uh, layer will create it automatically in the console okay for example I choose a cut of bottom it means the layer one will uh, appear from bottom to finally uh, top of the mentioned geometry okay 
uh, it depends on you I use ETL thickness as layer 1 or, or is better use uh, HDL thickness uh, because uh, we want to uh, consider light from top and it's conventional uh, for the schematic okay here in the layer 2 I use thickness PVK and we don't need the thickness of ETL it will be added automatically as I talk about in before as you see the ETL thickness will appear here and it's up here okay here uh, for the first cubic or block uh, it's related to HDL it the middle is related to PVK and top is related to ETL okay I use form union and I build all of the geometry as a simple way I use semiconductor I click right on it and I use copy on component 3 I click right and I paste the semiconductor it is so simple and you can use this method for any related simulation not for semiconductor, for uh, microwave frequency, for ACDC, velocimetry, and other physics that you need. Okay, as you can see, uh, the material is uh, seen by the stop symbol. We must uh, insert the related material I use control and click on all of the material and use right click and copy all of the material in these materials uh, I click paste multiple items and all of uh, copied material will appear here and I check it the HDL is in the top and it's not correct I clear selection maybe I choose must I must choose uh, this region but it the comes who don't allow me doesn't allow me to choose this section uh, it, it because the this section is selected by other material and I must remove this section from other material the PVK is the right region HDL must be here ETL must be here okay as you can see the error was uh, corrected and you uh, don't see any a stop or red button here okay uh, as you can see the error is a uh, selection is empty and you can see a triangle uh, which means the region was not selected I select the ETL trap assisted recombination for all of layers I will add I add all of, all of layer for HDL I choose this bottom region for generation I use all of layer let me see the previous section uh, generation for all of layer assisted recombination it's related to all of layer okay for F2 contact let me see here F2 contact is here AU contact is here oh uh, um, uh, the uh, the selected geometry for 3D it's uh, vice versa of this geometry 
and uh, FTO contact. Okay, here I use the FTO contact and AU contact is here. Okay, it's depend on uh, your side of geometry and it is not important. You use ETL here or here. Uh, you you can choose uh, the other contact that related to your geometry. Okay, here uh, I must choose a mesh. I can choose a sequence type physic control mesh, element size normal or fine. It's related to your physics maybe normal better for us I use build all and you can see all of the all of the number of mesh in your geometry maybe fine it use a, a mesh with a high quality and very thin and With number of uh, with uh, more number of mesh. In a study, I choose a stationary study, but for the semiconductor, I must choose semi three, as you can see. In component three, uh, we have uh, in name of the semiconductor semi three as. Uh, I talk about this name and label you can uh, all of your operator function on the semi i3 or comp3 in the uh, in this bracket uh, you can uh, do any uh, operator of mathematic mathematical on it okay here uh, I select semi semi three and the applied voltage from zero to one dot two volt. I use compute and I'm waiting for the computation computation by the console. Here you can see the power of compute and the applied voltage. Uh, I don't know what will be what will happen in this simulation. Maybe uh, this simulation uh, wouldn't be run or wouldn't run, and we must to work on the mesh because the it, just I guess about the simulation I don't know what what will happen um, uh, the three-dimensional simulation uh, especially in semiconductor it's very sensitive to mesh and we must choose any we must work on the proper mesh for uh, getting a good result with uh, low errors and with good uh, convergence plots it seems the error it's it's not good here uh, the The error plot versus iteration number uh, have uh, some fluctuation and you can see some peaks on it and it's not good for getting a correct and valid results and we must uh, work on the mesh and it's very important to choosing right 
and correct mesh okay if uh, we can also see the progress the progress is three percent and the applied voltage is a still remain on zero volt and it's not good okay uh, if we we remain more uh, our time will consume at, and it's not good uh, we can uh, okay as you can see the stationary solver one failed to find the solution for initial parameter uh, it shown it is show that uh, the mesh is not good for this uh, problem okay uh, it's it's good and it's enough for this tutorial video I will talk about the mesh and how you can use a mesh a generator a, a auto mesh manual mesh for three-dimensional problem maybe uh, most of you problem uh, with three-dimensional uh, solar cell simulation or semiconductor material simulation for example light emitting diodes MOSFET and other semiconductor material um, I will talk about the mesh and um, correcting this problem in uh, the next videos as soon as possible have a good time, take care, uh, please uh, subscribe my channel, I will provide uh, any tutorial video that you want, please comment for me, comment, uh, leave your comments on my videos and share me your opinion, I will try to do my best, thank you, goodbye.